Hello, my name is Sanam Bean and today I would like to implement a Java backend service, a um, Angular 2 app and connect both. So the Angular 2 app is going to um, to access the uh, backend service. So um, let's start with the simplest possible Java e project with uh, actually two dependencies today. Uh, the first one is of course Java 7 API and the next one is cores because we would like we would like to um, to be accessed from outside our server. This is um, real world. We could, of course, put the Angular app or bundle the Angular app together with the war, but this is usually what what, what not happens in uh, in the real world. So we have Airhex, Jaxers, Core 002. Looks nice. And what we would like to do is to expose a Dukes resource, which emits Dukes. And this is going to be a resource with the name Dukes. And I would like to use the uh, or expose JSON array and Dukes as get. And then let's do let's create a Duke Duke. A Duke has a name and age. And then I would like to to return this JSON dot create create object builder at uh, this is name is going to be the name and um, H is going to be the H and I think Java is old but int should be enough so. And then we can return our JSON array. Create JSON, create array builder. And I would like to add a Duke with the name smart. And smarty is uh, 18. And the nice Duke is 42. So, should work. So let's try that. I will just rebuild it completely and run it. So, um, where is our Payara server? Let's take the, this one. And then, so it already runs resources dukes. And we have the name smart is 18 and the other one is 42. So uh, what I did, I created a um, also an Angular 2 uh, project from scratch and this is based on the Angular 2 template. So nothing special. Um, it just comprises all the dependencies to Angular 201 and some uh, dev dependencies like the light server. And I would like just to open it in this way. And then I can already start it. So I will use npm script for this and this will launch the project. So see my first Angular app. So looks nice. And now try to connect it with, with the backend. So what is it? So we have the, um, the uh, main, which is comparable to the Java main. And it just says that the Angular app is going to be rendered in a browser. And we have a module and the module already has a browser module. But what we would like to do, I would like to use the HTTP module, which is a kind of JAXRS client or HTTP client. And this is going to import that from HTTP. And then I would like to import the browser module and the um, HTTP module. So what is the app component? The app component is actually what outputs here. So if I just put here Dukes, you get the Dukes. And what I would like to do is to use the multi-line uh, string as a feature of ES 2015. And uh, now try something. I will just use here the Dukes. Let Dukes equals and just create an array. And in this array, we have the first Duke name is smart uh, offline. 
and his age is age is two and the um and the other one is um name cached and the age is three so so we have the dukes and uh, what we can do right now i would also like to import uh, ng in it is kind of um, post construct implements ng in it on in it not ng in it and then uh, what I will have to do so if I go here you see that um, I forgot the um, the ng on init method so I will have to implement this ng on init so and this is going to be called uh, when the component instantiates so what I would also like to do is to import the HTTP class or function uh, from at angular http oh I always hit the wrong button http so and then i would like to inject the http service and i will use the um, typescript shortcut for that which says private http and what it basically does it creates a private field http which is available in the whole class so now what you can do already i could say this http dot get and at the URI here. So, but now I have to be really cautious and swap the tab here to see the output of the Angular. So, and then I would like to use the promise. The problem is this uh, get rec um, uh, returns an RxJS observable, but I would like to use a promise. So in order to use a promise, regular ECMAScript promise, I will have to import an operator, RxJS, add operator to promise and then I can use it so and then I can call dot to promise and this will convert the observable to regular JavaScript promise which is comparable to future what we have in Java and I can say then let's say I convert the raw result to JSON and after it's converted, I could say um, then uh, the converted result is this dukes equals r. And um, so uh, still the same output. Why? Because there is no iteration here. So what I would like also to do, create an, a list. And the list um, comprises, it comprises a single li. And um, it has an ng4 directive. And it say, let duke of dukes. And then within the list, I can say duke.name and duke.h so smart 18 and nice 42 this is exactly hopefully what we get from the server yes so if we change it on the server and say we would like to have the uh, the cool duke and the cool duke is 50 and just reload it you see 50 here and 50 here so um, Java is just the perfect backend for uh, for H HTML5 apps, uh, whether React, um, Angular, or whatever. Thank you for watching, and see you at upcoming conferences, workshops, or uh, even the workshop at, 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 at Munich Airport, uh, particularly, of course, in Angular 2 workshops. So thank you for watching, and enjoy Java and JavaScript. Bye.